to just transition with a, a quote, another quote from a scholar, John Walton. I've quoted him a few times, but um, wisdom is good, and we can safely assume that God did not intend to withhold it from humanity. But true wisdom must be acquired through a process, generally from instruction by those who are wise. The fall is defined by the fact that Adam and Eve acquired wisdom illegitimately, thus trying to take God's role for themselves rather than eventually joining God in his role as they were taught wisdom and become fully functional vice regents of God involved in the process of bringing order. If the humans are to work alongside God in extending order, think back to the subdue and rule of Genesis 1, they're going to need wisdom, but as an endowment from God, not by seizing it for autonomous use. If from the start, people were mortal and pain and suffering were already part of a not yet fully ordered cosmos, we cannot think of death and suffering as having been foisted upon us by Adam and Eve's malfeasance. Great word choice, by the way, right? <laughs> so, okay, so back, we're back to kind of a meta-reflection on the mortal human outside the realm of eternal life. Um, and this is a story about a chance for eternal life that was forfeited instead of beginning there and falling from it. Instead, he thinks, we can have a much more charitable attitude towards Adam and Eve when we realize that it was not that they initiated a situation that was not already there. <clears throat> it is that they failed to achieve a solution that was in their reach. Their choices resulted in the failure to acquire relief on our behalf. Their failure meant that we are doomed to death in a disordered world full of sin. These are profoundly significant consequences for what was a serious offense. In contrast, let's get real big picture here, Christ was able to achieve the desired result where Adam and Eve failed. We are doomed to die because when they sinned, we all lost access to the tree of life. We are therefore subject to death because of sin. Christ succeeded and actually provided the remedy to sin and death. Some would follow the same line of reasoning and suggest that what we call original sin is the result of our ancestors pulling out of the program immaturely, prematurely. James Gaffney identifies these approaches as involving a view that our human condition in the present is actually underdeveloped because we have failed to achieve the intended goal because we wanted to do it our own way. It is not a story of paradise lost, but as it were, paradise ungained.